So Marilyn, what kind of what kind of mangrove is this right here? This is a, a good example of a black mangrove. Okay. You can see the roots. They look they look like pencils sticking up. They're actually the whole tree stru root structure is down solid into the ground. But these basically they're called the metaphors. They bring the oxygen down in, in underground up into the tree. Oh. So all plants need oxygen. Marilyn, why why are mangroves important to this estuary back here? They start with first of all, if you look at the the root structure all the way down, it's actually holding the soil. It prevents erosion. Um, it builds up the soil. If you look underneath, you can see that there are oysters growing in there. And if it were lower tide, you'd see crabs. And as the leaves fall down, it actually builds up the soil. So it builds up the land and then it provides a habitat. You would find some fish eggs, you'd probably find some snails, all live in, the, in among the roots and it's protected. So uh, it does provide a habitat for all these small animals. This particular one, if you look, it's got salt on the back of the leaf. Mm -hmm. um, they all live in salt water, so they take the, the salt, they need to do something with it. This one sends it out into the back of the leaf. Um, and it has a seed that looks like a lima bean that can float up to a year. And when it floats, it's actually growing its root system and it will just sort of, just like this is in the middle of nowhere, it'll just pick itself a place in the water and just deposit itself and start growing another tree. Let's see if Don't this eat the leaf, salty. just lick the back of it. You're right, that is yeah. salty. And that's how it gets rid of its salt. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah.